for some reason today Hydrox reminds me of Willie Nelson. Doesn't Hydrox look like Willie Nelson? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 8.30 a.m. Stella's here because she's looking for breakfast, right Stella? And Simba's here, he's relaxing in the tub. And my cats need to be brushed. Stella, I need to brush you. Okay? But not in the kitchen. Okay. We'll eat soon, Stella. Stella just bit my knee. I'm drinking a cat grass smoothie this morning. Today for breakfast, the cats are having Stella and Chewy's rabbit patties. And Stella's not eating it because for some reason she does not like them. I bought this Nature's Miracle Advanced Stain and Odor Eliminator today at Petco. This says it is the Severe Mess Enzymatic Formula. So they had this in, I think like three formulas. There was like a regular formula and then there was an advanced formula and then there was the Severe Mess Formula. Uh, this was the most expensive one. It was $14.99. And I purchased this to clean up the vomit in Boo's room from the other day. So it was cleaned up, but as I was cleaning it up, I ran out of Jingos. I've been using Jingos for like the past year and a half. Wagmore had sent me two bottles of it and it's completely gone and it worked really well uh, but I haven't seen it in any stores around here so uh, I needed to buy something today because I noticed that the smell was bad when I woke up and the smell wasn't bad yesterday I did not notice it and then I guess because I did not have any air conditioning on overnight and even though I had windows open um, the smell got worse so I'm going to try this out. I'm going to see if this works. In the absolute worst case scenario, I'm just going to throw the rug out because the rug was only $20. It was like a back to school dorm room rug and I could easily buy another one um, soon because it's back to school time again. And you know, they're only $20. Um, but I'm going to try this. I figured let me buy um, some kind of odor eliminator because I'm sure I'm going to need it in the future for more pukes or accidents so might as well uh, try it now. This says apply, wait 15 minutes and then blot. It says people and pets should not be allowed on treated areas until product has dried. Directions for use before using test surfaces to be treated for color fastness by Applying to a hidden area, wait five minutes, then wipe with a white cloth. If color is removed from the test area, do not use Nature's Miracle Advanced Stain and Odor Eliminator on those surfaces. Do not use on untreated hardwood, leather, suede, silk, or wool specialty fabrics. Always use this product at full strength. Do not dilute. Always use Nature's Miracle Advanced Stain and Odor Eliminator products first. Other cleaners and detergents may fail and chemically set stains that will be impossible to remove. For odor elimination, remove excess odor causing material, then thoroughly soak area with this product. Saturation is important so that this product can penetrate deeply to the odor source. In carpeting, this may mean lifting carpet and applying directly to the pad and floor. Do not wipe up excess. Okay, so we'll, we'll try that and we'll see what happens. I just saturated this entire area, like this whole part of the rug, the floor, like here and here, everywhere there was vomit is completely saturated with this product. 
Uh, the floor is really wet, so I'm not going to leave the floor wet like that. I am going to wipe that up, but everything else, I'm just going to follow the directions and let it air dry. It's 8.15 p.m. And I just came outside because I want to give Hydrox some dinner. I have half a can of the Trader Joe's turkey and giblets with a whole bunch of water in it because I figure, you know, it's good for him to get hydration. And I came outside and I was like, where's Hydrox? Where is he? I haven't seen him. And look, he's been hanging out in this box. Now this box is still damp from like all of the rain. It looks like the top and the sides are dry, but the bottom is still very much wet. And Hydrox was hanging out inside that box. So that box must be very cool for him. It probably stays cool because it's, you know, still retaining moisture. So I am going to put his food down and hopefully he'll eat it. Here's Hydrox. I just put the food down. He was looking at the food. For some reason, today, Hydrox reminds me of Willie Nelson. Doesn't Hydrox look like Willie Nelson? Don't you think there's a resemblance there? Hydrox says he has no idea who Willie Nelson is. Okay, Hydrox, I'll go inside so you can eat. I know it's very humid out. It is very, very humid out right now. Yesterday, I took out this rebounder, which was kind of just against the wall and not being used. And I used it for the first time in a very long time. And then I realized that this round shaggy rug fits perfectly on top of the rebounder. Like right now it's a little bit off center, but it fits perfectly in the center of this rebounder. And look who loves hanging out on top of it. Splash. Splash loves hanging out on this. There's a whole bunch of mess on the floor, like a whole bunch of uh, ripped up cardboard and stuff that I have to clean up. But um, do you remember when he used to hide under this? This used to be covered with a blanket and Splash used to hide under it all the time. He doesn't hide under it anymore. I'm down here in the basement with Splash. I'm hanging out down here for a little while because it's really nice and cool down here. So I figured, let me sit down here while I edit a video. And I also need to straighten some things up down here. So I figured, you know, it's a good time to do that. And so I have this strip of LED lights. And this is a color changing strip of lights. So right now you should be able to see three of these LEDs which are on. And I have them on like an orange color. The reason why is because the orange color has less blue light to it. It's more representative of like a natural light source, like a candle. So that's what I have it on. What I realized today is that if I look at this strip of lights with the side of my eye, like if I look at it with my peripheral vision, and if I move my eyeball from side to side as I'm looking at it with my peripheral vision, I don't see these yellow or orange lights Instead, what I see is a horizontal line of lights that is like red, 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 green, red, red, green, red, 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 green. It's like a combination of mostly red and a little bit of green. And it's like, it's really freaky that you can see that with the naked eye. It's 9.11 p.m. And this is a new first for Boo. Boo jumped on the sofa downstairs all by himself. The only time Boo has ever been on the sofa before is if I've picked him up and put him on the sofa and he immediately jumps down. But because I'm sitting on the sofa, Boo jumped on the sofa. Maybe he'll hang out here with me. Hello, Boo. Are you purring? When I'm downstairs for any extended period of time, Boo has to come downstairs and see what I'm doing. And a lot of times he'll be like, what are you doing down here? But right now he's just hanging out. It looks like he's gonna hang out with me. You gonna hang out here, Boo? Boo, you gonna hang out downstairs with me? It's nice and cool down here. You can hang out here. Splash is down here too. That's what Boo's looking at right now. Splash likes to hang out down here. Hello, Boo. Hang out, Boo. Come here.
Come here, Boo. Lay down here. Lay down here, Boo. You don't need to attack Splash. You just be nice to him, okay? Lay down here. Hang out with me, Boo. Splash is on patrol. Come on, Boo. We're going to edit a video. Sit down with me. It is 9.42 p.m. And I'm editing a video of a baby Simba. Simba, you were such a little tiny kitten. You were running all around the yard and you were pooping in the flower pots. Or peeing in the flower pots. You made a whole big mess in my flower pots. And all of a sudden I look and Simba's staring at me. He's just laying in this plastic tub staring at me and here's Boo he made himself comfortable on the floor and that's an arch that you see behind him and here's Stella Stella's laying on one of her favorite rugs she's been staring at me also when I put the camera on her you know she doesn't want to look rude by staring at me but you know all the cats are waiting for their nightly treat Right, Stella? You want crunchies? Stella, you want some crunchies? Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.